Hey, what's up? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be bringing you an album review for one of my most anticipated albums of the year, the six studio length album by ERA, the progressive metalcore band entitled Cure, out now on UNFD Records. I've gone on record saying multiple times ERA is not only my favorite gent band, but pretty much my favorite modern band, period. With that being said, they are a band that have never shied away from tumultuous lineup changes, style changes, label changes, and so back when they parted ways with Sumerian Records and went to UNFD, there were a lot of question marks of where this era, pun unintended, of era was going to take them. Since ever since JTKV had joined the band, they pretty much had this nice groove to them, and it seemed like it was familiar. It seemed like they found their rhythm and their tempo, and from that point on, a lot of their records really would build upon that, whether you're talking about Drift or Neon. But when they switched to UNFD and their self-titled record came out, it was obvious that not only stylistic but imagery wise and everything that they wanted to put out into the musical landscape was going to shift a little bit. They were taking on more of this electronic technological vibe both in the way that they presented their imagery but also the instrumentation. Sort of this mechanically engineered style not in a way that made anything feel too like unorganic or that it was fake. They just sort of felt like they were playing up to this Terminator Blade Runner sort of vibe where they wanted to sound more cinematic and theatrical eerie and ominous at points. And whereas every single era record has taken on a different tone than the one that came before it, I think this is the first time that I can safely say an era record reads a lot like a previous era record. I think that when it comes to the self-titled album to this one, it really does seem like they are following up that record and this is the next logical step in that direction. And this era of UNFD era is going to be embodied by this sort of technological and hypnagogic style. Whereas in the past, Jesse Cash's vocals were pretty much made what they were because it was like Seosin worship of the highest octaves you could possibly reach, soaring with melodicism and dripping and reverb, there are a lot of choruses on this record that feel a little bit more what I would call experimental by era standards, taking things in more of sort of a drifting sort of atmosphere. I think that if there was ever a metalcore vocalist that could sell tracks like Idle Wild or the title track Cure, it's Jesse, but it also kind of amounts to some mixed results. Straight off the bat, I was worried when I stepped into this record because I found the first track, the title track Cure, to be a very underwhelming opener. I think that when it comes to era openers, I always associate them with being extremely rip-roaring or at least experimentally atmospheric or soaring or something to it that really stands out and sets the tone of the record. Cure just feels like they're playing by the numbers. Numbers. And I feel like if you took Cure and airdropped it into the middle of an era record, it wouldn't really service any other it. So when the track kick starts with JTKV's mid growls as he usually stays in, and then it goes into a chorus that I would say is a little anticlimactic and a little underwhelming, and near the end of the track, I think there's just a very telegraphed breakdown that doesn't really feel that original by era standards, and I was pretty disappointed with how this record started. Because while there are are multiple moments across this record where Jesse's floating sort of choruses and vocal melodies are appreciated and unique, especially by Gent standards, I think this record does kind of suffer sometimes with them not panning out. And I will always say that while I do love the JTKV era of era and I adore records like Neon and Drift and the self-titled to some degree as well, I think the biggest flaw that he has and that kind of takes down records a little bit is that he doesn't really seem to to be too interested with exploring his range. Across these 48 minutes, he just sticks pretty much most of the time in his signature mid-growl scream, and it is a very powerful scream, and he is one of those like craftsmen that have just ironed out all of the kinks and flaws to where he really has perfected being able to do those, but I would love to see him sort of do other things in his range, because when you have someone as talented and incredible at vocal melodies and tweaking and running around his range like Jesse, it's a little underwhelming sometimes when JTKV sort of offsets that by just staying in one range pretty much the entire record. And with that being said, that is a pretty minor gripe because in the grand scheme of things, I have no doubt this is probably going to be the best jump record of the year. The sing sounds fucking amazing. 
This is also the first record to feature Clint Tustin, who was on guitar duties, and I'm going to be completely honest, if I wasn't aware that they had a new guitarist, I don't think that I would have particularly noticed that much. I think he fit the band perfectly, and he really does live up to that. I know I've talked a lot about the vocals, but that's just because instrumentally, Era just kind of have everything down to a T. They are perfect at crafting these intricate, melodic, twisting labyrinths of riffs that layer on top of each other and tap and gent it's awesome even the breakdowns the ones that are sometimes not the most original or unique hit like a ton of bricks i especially love how some of these lazy sort of riffs roll in when jesse goes into one of his crooning melodies era has always been fantastic at matching the energy of the vocalizations and having a lot of versatility and dynamics i have always said i think that era are one of the best if not the best shent bands when it comes to crafting an atmosphere that doesn't feel fake and Considering they're so fucking well produced and so tightly woven together at this point, I think it's incredible that Era is still able to sound so organic and so human. Like, this doesn't feel like it is just manufactured in a lab. This still has an extremely human touch to it that is believable, that is tangible, but still is just so meticulously put together that every single riff is so audible. And I could see some people maybe not being a fan of how well produced they are, and thinking it's a little bit too compressed and too like loud, but I personally think compared to a lot of modern gent that I've heard, I think it's perfectly fine. I think it's great. And I'm happy to report that if Cure was an underwhelming start, Rumor of Light is one of my favorite tracks on this album, shaping up to be one of my favorite era tracks ever. Massive like Ghost of Nothing vibes almost in some of the way that the heavy instrumentation comes about. This is one of the best tracks Jesse has ever sounded on. He touches his range and he doesn't go above and beyond to make it too terribly loud. As much as I love era's heavier moments, I think that some of the times when they shine the most is when they lean more into the melodicism and god bless for this track because this is a wet dream for anyone that loves eras more like muted sort of softer sections it's such a vibe and idle wild and blue reverie kind of carry that on love the chorus on idle wild i love how almost like strained jesse sounds the way that he's able to strain his vocals sometimes to add a little bit more emphasis is great love the atmosphere on blue reverie and jumping to one of the ender tracks pale iris was a fantastic teaser for this record love how ferocious it sounds love the chorus on this thing it is a little bit era by the numbers but when it comes to like a huge track that just sounds like a big budget movie, it hits every single mark. It's multi-phased, it hits a ton of different strides, kind of similar to Blue Reverie. I think what this record accomplishes better than the self-titled album is making these tracks feel very multifaceted, multi-phased, not staying in one section for too long, and most of the time not really being too predictable even if they are playing by their own formula. And don't think that JT doesn't get his ability to shine on some of these tracks, crawl backwards out of Heaven is pretty much a JT dominated track in many regards and I think this is probably the track in my opinion that he shines the most on. It's actually not one of my favorites on the track listing just because I'm not a big fan of how this track ends. I think the layering could have been done a little bit better. I do like kind of how monotone the delivery on Jesse's vocals are on the back half of this and JT like I said is the best part of this track. He just sounds like this Goliath over it. This track also shows showcases a lot more of that sort of electronic mechanic distortion sound that starts the track off and I would say if this track listing is defined by one thing it's like the self-titled album that sort of technological vibe but it's very defined by Jesse doing more experimental things in his vocal register and having more experimental vocal melodies and choruses that are a little unorthodox by era standards and I think that's just something that has happened in the UNFD era and it's either something you're going to really dig or really not. I like this record quite a lot. I'm going to be spinning this thing a hell of a lot. I want to get it on physical copy. But with that being said, is it going to scratch the same itch that a track listing like Augment or Drift or Neon do? No. And that's kind of the cool thing about Era. They always evolve their style. And I would say that if you're wanting to step into Era and get a good vibe of what they can accomplish, I'm not sure if this is necessarily the best record to just step into blindly. 
It's a really good Gent record. It's an amazing progressive metalcore record. And for longtime fans, you're going to appreciate the intricacies that are packed into this thing and how far they've matured and grown as a band. But with that being said, if you're wanting the more typical Gent isms, soaring choruses, just melodicism, layered vocals, and that sort of thing, you would probably be better going to a track listing like Drift or Augment or something like that. But if you want an era record that is oddly hypnagogic, a little bit experimental, and pretty unorthodox by their standards, I would say check this out. Because as someone that loves to see bands experiment in their style and as someone that is just a fucking era fanatic, I love this track listing. I think that it has some flaws and it's not a perfect record by any stretch of the imagination, but you're going to be hard pressed to find many other progressive metalcore records this year that are going to hit as hard, and I will stand by that statement. I'm going to be giving this album an 8 out of 10. And that is a wrap. What are your guys' opinions of this new era record, Cure? You can let me know down in the comment section below whether you like it or dislike it. There is no wrong answer. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to join the review family today. And smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is. My name is Jay Morris, and I'm signing off saying farewell. Well.